Hello there guys and welcome to That Anxious Gamer. Today we're going to be doing a very special video. We're going to be looking at all of the uh, Immortals in Gates of Pyre. So this is a new RTS game that's coming out of Sunspear Games. And I was lucky enough to get an alpha key. So we're going to be jumping into actual gameplay in the next video. But in this video we're going to be looking at all the commandos and who you should choose. And I'm going to be looking for the trailers for each one. So the Angelic Empire of Korath is one faction. And on the Smoldering Coast are Warriors of the Aru Root Witches. So we have, for the Aru Root Witches, we have the Prophets Mala and Zol. I believe this is how it's pronounced. And the two Archangels are Orzum and Aja. So let's jump right into the uh, trailers, guys. Let's jump right into the trailers, and I'll give you my reactions to each one. So we're going to start out with Orzum. Let's take a look and see what we think. I am its armored fist, where the gaze of the god. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is I really like the narrator's voice. I think the narration is quite good uh, for Orzum. I think that the effects, they don't look like StarCraft II levels. They look a little bit um, cheaper, to be honest with you. But in terms of just like units moving in, it feels pretty good. It's got kind of an Age of Empires look to me. Like it definitely doesn't have a StarCraft II look in my opinion. There's a little bit more organic. Kind of like a, maybe a Warcraft 3 aesthetic. So let's keep watching. Falls. I shall flame forever and ever. Okay. Archangel of Reclamation. We shall strike our foes from creation. Okay, so that's the first commander, Orzum, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got definitely a little bit of a uh, Protoss feeling to it. Like, I definitely think the art style is really nice, and I like the art angel's art style. Um, I may choose Orzum, but, you know, it's a little bit too early to say. Let's move on directly into the second uh commander so guys we're going to be looking at the second commander it's going to be aja uh and this is another one from the archangels faction so let's take a look and see what it's like this is the first time i've watched any of these videos by the way guys by the grace of our god i am now among you okay so she's got similar visual styles but obviously you have a little bit of that feminine energy you have a little bit of that feminine voice it almost sounds like an Eastern European voice actress, which I think is kind of interesting. So let's see what it's like. The Godhead has decreed that my kind shall save yours. And I will see this world break before I fail. Ajari, Archangel of Deliverance. Ajari, okay. Um, the in-game footage, guys, does worry me a little bit because the in-game footage seems to be really small armies interacting. So it definitely has a much more of a Warcraft 3 feel than like a Starcraft 2 or Age of Empires feel where you have like massive armies battling. That's just my sense so far. But let's finish this uh, Aja or Ajari gameplay. I always want to call it Aja, but I think it's actually Ajari. So it's a really good trailer. I mean, definitely you're brought into it. And uh, yeah, Jari looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's go without further ado. Yeah, the Aru Root Witches. And we're going to be jumping into their first commander, which is going to be Mala. So guys, here we are. We're going to be checking out the first of the Aru Root Witches, which is going to be Mala. So this is going to be the first commander for the other faction in the game, the Aru Root Witches. Let's take a look and see what I think. Heed me, sweet children. A time of reckoning draws near. By my words. 
Okay, I like the I like both the voice actress and I like the background music for this trailer a little bit more. I think that it feels a little bit less like high and mighty. You have a little bit dirtier or a little bit grittier tone. And I kind of like that. You know, the red glowing eyes, but uh, you get almost like a South American or like jungle theme to it, which is, I think, really cool. And I think, I mean, these red glowing eyes, guys, it's pretty cool. So let's let's check out what Mala has to offer. Okay, it looks like some sort of like blood magic, maybe, or some necromancy. So when I see a scene like that, like with the sun backdrop, then I'm thinking maybe it's actually like an African based uh, faction, like a little bit more of like a like the the continent Africa. But you kind of get a mix of like South American and African theme, which is, I think, really cool. I think actually out of all that I'm seeing so far, I like Mala's theme the best. I love the blood magic theme. Kind of have like a vampirism kind of kind of thing going on. Okay, guys, that was the third commander, Mala, uh, of the Aru Root Witches. Let's go to the fourth commander. So I believe, guys, this is the fourth and last commander in the game for the Aru Root Witches. Uh, it's going to be the second commander from them. So you have Mala, and then I think this is Zol or Stol. Let's see how it's pronounced in game. And yeah, we're going to be watching the trailer. Let's have our live reaction here. Yeah. Worthy enough to approach me, the first and greatest daughter of the God Tree? I so I'm kind of surprised there's another woman commander. So definitely for the Augu Root Witches, you get a very strong female energy. Uh, a little bit younger. Definitely the tonality feels a little bit younger to me. A little bit more vibrant. You know, you, the music kind of kicks in hard. Very cool, guys. Very, very cool. I am the chosen stalker, the unseen slayer of beast and being. I am Zol, prophet of the unending hunt. Prove yourself to me, and I will show you the ways of war. So you got kind of like a Greek Artemis kind of feeling here. You know, you've got kind of the archery theme, the like the the young uh, VOL female. I think this is definitely really cool. I think Zol, I, I keep saying this, guys, but I feel like everyone I watch actually am engaged and pulled into it more. Zol is pretty cool, and I may play her actually as my main commander when I'm actually uh, playtesting the game, which is going to be the very next video right after this. So if you like this, guys, definitely like and subscribe because I'm going to be definitely promoting some videos and actually putting out some gameplay footage of this alpha playtest. Let's finish up Zol, though. Go then, Hunter. Impress me. Okay, guys, and that's all for us. So let's wrap up, guys. What did I think? So basically for this game, guys, you have two main factions, the Angelic Empire of Korath and the Aru Root Witches. Personally, guys, even though I thought uh, Orzum was pretty cool, uh, Aja or Ajari really didn't engage me. I don't think her art is quite as cool as some of the other uh, commandos. I think both of the Aru Root Witches is really cool, guys. I really like Mala and I really like Zol. Honestly, guys, when I'm playing the game, you're probably going to see a lot of Zol gameplay because I thought that between Mala and Zol, I think Zol is just a little bit cooler. Maybe she just kind of pulls me in a little bit more. But both of these are really, really good. If I wanted to play the uh, Angelic Empire of Gorath, I would definitely play Orzum uh, with Arjuri or Arjura uh, being my least favorite. I think her name kind of doesn't roll off the tongue, but also I think her art they just kind of turn me off a little bit. I don't think it's that engaging. So yeah, guys, hope you like this. I wanted to keep this short. Uh, if you like this, crush the like, hit the subscribe button, guys. I'm going to be showing you more gameplay footage and actually telling you what I think. Like, is this game a contender? Can this put up with some of the big heavyweight RTSs that are coming out? Or is just is this just going to be another forgotten title? 
I have a lot of hope for Sunspear games, and I'm going to be diving right in in the next video and actually giving you my thoughts and some gameplay footage for you to dig into. From the trailers, guys, I do think the unit count looks a little bit small. I hope that it won't be that small in game, but it does kind of remind me of a Warcraft 3 theme and feeling. So yeah, that's my thoughts, guys. I wanted to wrap this up. This has been a reaction video for all four of the major commandos for Immortal Gates of Pyre, the Battle of Fool Bay's playtest weekend. All right, guys, see you in the next one.